And she's either 72 or 74 years old. She sounded like uh, a normal person, you know, family oriented. We left off in my last Debbie video with her getting ready for a second date with Jay. I'm feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself. But she gets ghosted. Where the f are you? We have a date. Thank you very much. And she ends up finding out all of his lies. He was actually 62 and married, and Debbie was upset. It's like, oh my god, everything he said to me was a lie. Everything. You gonna die. Loser, rabbit. No life, come back. Rabbit. You gonna die. But now she's moving on and meeting someone new that she met online. We are coming to the end of this season of The Single Life, so let's see how Debbie's last date goes. Awesome! Well, I'm gonna go spend the night in San Diego because I have a date with a guy I met online. I have to give it to her. She gets knocked down, but she gets up again. His name is Bill, and I met him on Instagram. She says they've been talking for a few weeks and made a connection. It sounds like she's going down a checklist of guys to meet up with. And I'm sure Colt the goat is hoping she ends up moving in with one of them. <laughs> so who is this Bill guy she's driving so far to meet? He sees he's 72 or 74 years old. He looks like a hippie. <laughs> An old hippie sounds like the perfect match for this retired go-go dancer. I think we're going to have a really good time because I grew up in the 60s and I had a good time in the 60s, so we had to compare notes and see. She's driving over five hours to meet him. I'm guessing she wants to do more than compare notes. Well, actually, Colt is driving, and he looks real excited about it. And she brought her friend Audrey. So you met Bill online? I met Bill online, and we started talking. He was very interesting to talk to. She says she has a lot in common with Bill and that he is family-oriented. Family-oriented. I feel like I've become my mother's father in a sense. Like, she's a teenager. I'm chaperoning her on a date across state lines to meet a guy she talked to briefly. He says he really wants to help her and knows a thing or two about traveling to meet someone online. Does he really know anything, though, since that failed miserably? How many messages have you sent to this guy? Have you exchanged? I talked to him every couple of days. You bet. have not sexed it. Darn, I'm sure your son really wanted to hear about that. I not want a guy sending me a dick pic. Oh, well, I wish I was dead. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Here's a throwback clip of Jess catching Colt sending dick pics to everyone. No send pictures for girls and videos. Good morning, my how are you, my Good night. Oh, I forget my Tell me more about Bill. You never FaceTime with him? No. Uh-oh. That's quite a long drive to take that risk. We're just curious. I thought like you were just like, whatever. I'm going to see some guy I'm going to talk to on the phone who might be catfishing me. Debbie gets mad, and it's obvious that there is still some tension between her and Colt. How do you to do this shit? I don't know why I have to do it. Four hours later. You want to tell me more about how I should live my life and do things that are very obvious right in front of me? We are far from the days when Debbie would spoon feed Colty. Since when did you start hating my guts? I don't, oh, hate, you. I don't hate you. I love you very much. Yeah, sure you That's do. why I'm spending my entire weekend to do this little crusade of yours. He's got you there, Deb. He's driving all this way for you to possibly meet a catfish. Hello, oh, bro. I want to get out. Debbie. I'm not going to do that. No. Debbie, calm down. I don't open the door and jump up. Who's acting like a toddler now? We're almost there. Put your seatbelt back on. It would have been pretty epic if she rolled out of the car and walked away like this. Oh, Jesus. Debbie, Debbie. No, don't do this, Debbie. Debbie. Debbie's out of the car and Audrey follows her. Take it easy. Come no, on. Be a jerk. I feel like we are watching X's fight, but no, this is mother and son. Don't say a word, because Colt's not going to say a word either. We're going to be in radio silence here, right? Yeah, you better listen or Audrey's going to kick your ass. See you ladies tomorrow. Okay, see you in the morning. It's been a long day, Deb. Wow, Debbie and Colt aren't sharing a hotel room. This has to be a first. Let me text Bill and That'd tell be a good him idea to what a wonderful okay. trip and we're in his wonderful town. And Debbie sends out a text but doesn't get a response. 
I don't even know where the date is or the time, and now I feel like, yeah, okay, this is a start of being ghosted. He's not going to show up for any date. Debbie has been catfished before, but not in another state. And she is in San Diego, where Ed lives. He went to Vegas at the beginning of this season, and she's now in San Diego at the end of this season. Why do they make this so complicated? Why don't they just get together? You can't spell Debbie without Ed. <laughs> Jesse Meester wants to remind you to subscribe to this channel. If you don't, he will appear in your room tonight and give you a motivational speech for three whole hours. It is an illusion. Let's choose a necklace. This is cool. Where are you going anyway? Debbie's getting ready for her date at the restaurant with Bill. I don't want to show up all alone, so I would prefer that Colt and Audrey be my support. But after last night, there may be some tension. Eh, he'll get over it. Bring the man, child. How are you? I'm okay. I can't tell if there's still an actual issue between them right now, or if the editors just put in this background music to make it more dramatic. They might as well have just done this. And Debbie was just asking him for a ride. Colt does drive her, and she arrives to her final date of the season. Bill has arrived, and Debbie looks very pleased with what she sees. I'm very impressed. He looks so much better than his pictures. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. Good lord, did she have a six-shot drink before the date even started? My name is Bill, and I met Debbie online. We seem to have a lot in common. We enjoy our families. He also has cats. I really wanted to tell you you look great. Tonight. Thank you very you much. Really I appreciate it. Thank you. He starts off with a compliment and says he likes to have fun. This seems like a good match so far. She even tells him that he looks better than his picture. You're a gem. <laughs> this day is going so much better than I expected. Their date seemed really fast, but ends on a good note. You know what? You're not a disappointment, that's for sure. You are so much fun. Thank you. Deb chugs her seventh drink and they head out. Right between the friend zone and the f zone, perfect place, right between. For right now, that's where I want to be. Debbie finally had a successful date. And next week at the tell-all, the focus seems to be on her and Colt. You come here and embarrass me and try to treat me like shit? I'm done, dude. Don't bullshit. What a motherfucker. Cold. I feel your pain, not to this extent with my own mom, but if you can support her more. Support? I'm 36 years old. Okay. My entire life okay. has been support. Calm down. Oh, yeah. Stephanie was on this season. We will have to wait until next week to see what happens next to the single life tell-all. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!